of my rideshare friends, Angelo Darren, driverpreneur with the Ride Local. The reason for this video today is actually to talk a little bit about is something that's been disturbing me over months. And I'll give you an example. On the YouTube, we have a lot of YouTubers or Uber tubers that are on there capitalizing on the market for drivers. Now, a lot of them say that they're there to support the driver, but every time you look at it, they will have invite codes from uh, companies they actually uh, talk negative against. And I'll give you an example, Uber, and yet they'll still have invite codes on there to collect their, uh, their referral code or referral money. And they do that basically to capitalize off the drivers. Now you got Uber and you got Lyft, they're already doing that. They're already raping the drivers by taking anywhere from 34 to 64% of their fares. It comes right out of their city, goes back into California, so it doesn't even support the, the community in which we drive in or the community in which we live. Then you have the Uber tubers on YouTube that talk negative about some of the things that are going on in the industry because of the news and so on. But what problem I have is that if you're supporting them by offering invite codes to the driver. Why would you do that if you think their platform is not very good? If you think it's not a win-win situation for a driver, why would you go ahead and do that? And I thought about that for a long time, hard. They're not even interesting in, br interested in bringing out the news, the current news, unless there's some time monetary uh, gain. If you look on their every one of their channels, you will see a bunch of invite codes, whether that be from Uber, Lyft, Cargo Box, or whatever. Not that they believe in those companies, but it's a way that for them to make money in order to do that. So in reality, I question really what you're about or what your interest is. Because if your interest is for the driver, why would you recommend somebody to sign up if you think it's a bad platform? If you think it's a bad company, why would you recommend that to drivers unless your real intent on YouTube is to make money off them, just like Uber and Lyft does. A lot of them do that. One of the things I've noticed is when we started, when I started, it was going to start Ride Local. Before we started, we reached out to a lot of these Uber tubers. And do you know what majority of them either didn't respond? because we are a new platform in the market, which is all about the drivers giving them 100% fares with no setup fees. But you would think that they would want the public to know that, or you the driver to know that. At least to know about it, not to make a decision. I understand Ride Local hasn't been in the market long enough for somebody to make an intelligent decision without knowing more information. But these people didn't reach out to me and try to get more information. They weren't interested in that. They weren't interested if Ride Local was really the savior for the driver or not. They didn't even give it a chance. And then I thought, well, why aren't they mentioning it? Why aren't they mentioning it on their platform just for the sake, in case it is a good thing, in case it is the best thing since shop liver, why wouldn't they do that to a driver if their interest is to help the driver? And then after thinking about it, I realized it's not about the driver. It's all about money. Just like the whole world is a lot of people grab money and take, 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 but never give back. A lot of times they think they're giving back by giving you news, keeping you interested. And so obviously you're gonna listen, right? Because you really think that they're for you. But if they're for you, you gotta question that. If they're for you, then why would they recommend a company that they think negative about? Why would they not bring things into the market or let you know what's going on in the market so you can make a wise decision on something that might even be better for you. Unless their intention is purely to gain money for their own selves. So it's not a win-win situation. And I've watched them, I've watched many of them. I subscribed and so I was notified by their new videos. Some of the content's interesting. I mean, it keeps you watching, there's some entertainment to it, but really when you look into it, it's all about you, the driver. Take, 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 take. That's all everybody wants to do. Now, Ride Local wasn't set up for that. Actually, we waiver 90, uh, 90 days in our licensing fee. We, don't, we give you 100% fares, but everything that we have established is for the driver to build a platform so we can unite and we can level the playing field and have our own platform in which we can make money and increase our lifestyle. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is I don't want to make enemies, but I want to call things for one. If you are not part of the solution, just remember that if you find somebody that's not part of the solution, they don't have any solution for what you're doing, all the, then they're part of the problem. 
So maybe the problem stems bigger than Uber and Lyft. Maybe it stems outside of that where people are trying to capitalize on uh, the negative aspects of rideshare. But yet they still continually to promote Uber or Lyft. And that I will never understand. And that I, I just can't accept. So I, I brought this video out because uh, no one else is. No one else cares to tell you what's really valuable and how to create solutions for your problem. If you're struggling day to day and you're just trying to make ends meet and you're one ride away from bankruptcy or one ride away from not paying your rent, that's, a, that's important to know that. Because if you don't take action and go in a different direction, you're gonna have the same thing year after year and uh, month after month. So in order to correct something, you got to take action, you got to change, you got to turn around, you got to change and go in a different direction. I just want this to be known so you don't continually to take the advice of people that don't have your interests at heart. I really believe that. And if, if, you, if you do not believe what I'm telling you, I ask you to watch their platform. I ask you to look at their, their, uh, their channel. Look at what their true interest is all about. It's all about trying to sell you the driver and take from you. Ride local isn't about taking. Matter of fact, for 90 days, we do not make no money as far as a company goes. And we decided to do that because we're supported by local businesses in order to do that. Our intention is to make other people be become successful and in turn doing that, Ride Local will be. But first, we concentrate you, the driver, just like we did with any other company we ever started. We concentrated first on two facts. That was the customer, and that was also our employees. If we concentrate on getting them to become successful, then we will be just on a course of doing what we're doing. So I question everybody as a Uber tuber, whether your intent is for yourself or whether your intent is for your audience. That's something to really think about. Because just remember, if you're not part of the solution, you definitely are part of the problem. Now, if you, if you like this video, you like the content, I suggest that you subscribe below. Uh, also hit our notification bell and that way we can let you have up and coming, uh, up and coming uh, videos that come out. If you have any comments, you'd like to send me uh, some uh, uh, comments or you'd like to send me anything in the email, you can do it at support at ridelocalgr.com. That's support at ridelocalgr.com. I welcome your comments and you can also call me directly and I'll give you my direct line at 616-952-1209. You call me directly and if I am not in the office or unavailable, I will get back to you as soon as possible. One thing about me, integrity has a lot to do with people contacting me. So if someone contacts me either through email or phone, I'm adamant about returning my phone call or recontacting. I haven't had that experience from a lot of you, your Uber tubers. Uh, one Uber tuber told me, well, we'll see what you do in 12 months. Or uh, really, I wasn't asking for your support for Ride Local. I was asking your support for the driver. Because if you can find out that the platform's better than what they've been using and they get 100% fares with no cash outlay, that's important. But apparently it's not important for the Uber tubers. Because the only time it's really important, if I offer referral, if referral uh, invite, uh, money to them or any other monetary gain, they probably would jump at the chance. I haven't done that because I don't believe in buying things. I believe in showing the value uh, and the benefits of what we are. Our platform, as, as we see the, show our platform, you, the driver, can make an intelligent deci decision about what's best. But because we offer 90 days for free, as far as uh, no licensing fee, you got 90 days to build your platform take up and you're going to take 100%. The only thing we'll do is have a license fee at low cost. It starts out at $29.95 and it goes up to $148.95 based on how many rides you take. But anyhow, none of our benefit is to us. Our benefit is all to the driver. Because once we can get you at, we know that once we get you at that level of 90 days and you're making 100% of the fares, you're going to stick with us. You're going to help us build the platform. And really that's what we're about. We're about you partnering, shipping with you, uniting with the drivers, getting us to level a playing field and keeping all of our fares in the city in which we live so we can build our community and we can support the residents in which we live. Thank you for listening. And again, subscribe below or hit the notification bell and I will see you at the top.